With the market valuation that exceeds half a trillion dollars and a complete lineup of electric vehicles with unmatched specifications, Tesla Inc. seems unreachable by the competitors. However, the latest promising announcements by established car manufacturers and young startups raise a question. Whether the California EV giant will be able to hold its unrivaled dominance after 2021. Today, we will take a look at the new generation of the so-called Tesla killers. So subscribe to our channel and let's get technical. It is hard to compare Model 3 against any other EV on the market since it possesses unreachable price to performance ratio. So instead of pitching it against affordable but dull hatchbacks like Nissan Leaf and VW ID3, let's step into the premium segment. Here the opposition is represented by the Swedish newcomer Polestar 2. The creation of Volvo's sub-brand falls short on the electric range but manages to deliver competitive performance mixed with reserved Scandinavian chic. Built on the compact modular architecture, the Polestar is driven by two electric motors with all-wheel drive and a 78 kilowatt hour battery with 233 miles range. The new EV is the first auto ever to get Android Automotive OS, plus it offered with an available performance pack that adds Brembo brakes, new 20-inch wheels, and a high-performance suspension. We already know that the standard range Model Y was cancelled and the date of arrival of its single motor modification is yet to be announced. This provides the Volkswagen ID4 with a perfect opportunity to capture the spot of a highly specced but still affordable electric crossover. Priced from 40 grand, this people's car will be equipped with a rear motor single or dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain with 250 miles worth of energy storage. The model offers premium German built quality and ergonomics. All the systems are controlled via a 10 to 12 inch infotainment, while the driving data is displayed on the 5 inch digital instrument panel. The ID4 comes with standard IQ drive suite of advanced driver assistance technologies, LED lighting, wireless charging, and App Connect. In September 2020, Lucid finally rolled out the production version of their Air Luxury Sedan, and it is better, posher, and more capable than we ever anticipated. This unveiling forced Tesla to quickly announce their Model S Plaid, which confirms the fact that the game in the premium electric sedan segment is on. The model is released in four trim levels, Base, Touring, Grand Touring, and the outrageous Dream Edition, with 1,080 horsepower and 2.5 seconds 0-60 to acceleration. The latter has the highest starting price in the mix, doubling the cost of the base model. It, however, promises a quarter mile time in 9.9 .9 seconds and will be the first to start customer deliveries next spring. The Dream Edition also gets you 500 plus miles of range, as well as fast charging capability that allows to recover 300 miles in 20 minutes. The like button must be smashed if you want electric transportation to be our future. Do so and let's proceed. The seven-seater R1S will become the second production vehicle by Rivian, following the introduction of the highly anticipated R1T pickup. The upcoming SUV will compete with Tesla Model X, which is the only true three-row all-vehicle SUV currently available. Externally, R1S resembles a rugged blend of Land Rover and Jeep Commander. As its truck sibling, it boasts distinctive stadium headlights with the daytime running light stripe across the whole bow. The R1S will be powered by four separate electric motors, one at each wheel. This system was previously anticipated to net 710 horses and have enough juice for 400 miles on a charge. But since the production model was confirmed to offer just 300 miles, it is possible that the peak output will be reduced as well. 
As before, expect a utilitarian cabin with vegan upholstery, standard heated seats, a network of onboard computers, and Rivian's own drive plus safety tech. Tesla's Cybertruck is most commonly pitched against Rivian's R1T Adventure pickup. But in our opinion, a much better comparison would be the radical GMC Hummer EV, which comes back from the ashes of the 2010 discontinuation as a solid super truck of tomorrow. He utilizes the proprietary GM Altium battery technology in a three motor all wheel drive system to achieve 350 miles of range, 1,000 horsepower, and 11,500 pound feet of torque. The newcomer was designed to handle the outdoors with its independent air ride suspension, four wheel steering with crab mode and 35 inch tires. At the same time, it feels like a premium product on the inside with high grade leathers, 13.4 inch infotainment, 14 speaker audio system, digital instrument panel and a gorgeous infinity roof with removable sky panels. If Elon manages to deliver on his promise, manufacture a roadster with 600 miles range, 250 miles per hour top speed and $250,000 price tag, it will be absolutely unreachable by any other supercar in the world. For now though, we will pit it against the electric car model that can at least compete with it in terms of pricing. Meet the pinnacle of Porsche's engineering genius in the field of electric vehicles, the Taycan Turbo S. It is powered by a dual motor all wheel drive setup that produces 625 horsepower. When the overboost feature and launch control mode are engaged, this number increases to 760 horses while the torque can reach as high as 774 pound-feet. This is enough to propel the car to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. Admittedly, at 192 miles, its EPA rated range is not that impressive, but the Turbo S can recharge at 270 kilowatt, so replenishing 80% of the battery capacity should take no more than 22.5 minutes. After the Nikola Motors scandal, investors and analytics have turned away from the startup and its ability to rival Tesla's upcoming semi-truck. So today we would like to make a safer bet on the company that has been in the business of heavy hauling for nearly a century and is eagerly embracing electrification across its entire lineup. The first member of the EV trucking family by Volvo is the VNR Electric. The model is already ready to enter fleets in the 4x2, 6x2 and straight truck configurations. For the time being, its major application will be focused on local and regional distribution, with the gross vehicle weight up to 66,000 pounds. However, after 2021, the 150 mile range and 450 horsepower motor power will be improved, allowing to bring the GVW to the 80,000 pounds mark. Even though we call them Tesla killers, in reality these newcomers will be working alongside Tesla to push out internal combustion cars from the market and bring closer the cleaner, greener and smarter future. Which one of these electric models impresses you the most and how do they stack up against Teslas? Share your thoughts in the comment section, give us a like and subscribe.